So hi, I'm Hanel. I studied computer science and math at Harvard and I've been a quantitative trader at Jane Street for a year now. And um, what that means is that I spent a lot of time writing algorithms and writing code, doing research to try to figure out what trading strategies we want to try to implement. So I'm Tudor. I'm a software engineer at Jane Street where for the past four-ish years since graduating from the University of Toronto, I've been working on our ultra-low latency trading team where we deal with all matters of things between fast software to very fast hardware and everything in between. Um, while I was at the University of Toronto, I participated in our SPC team and I participated in the ECNA regional. So I'm on one of the algorithmic trading desks, which means that I spend a lot of time with other people who actually have pretty similar backgrounds to me. So I just a couple of days before this event, I learned I like told some uh, people on my desk that I was going to ICPC. It turns out like I already knew one person had also done ICPC. It turns out there are two others who had as well. So I think it's always a fun surprise seeing how many of us share similar backgrounds and um, share this love for competitive programming. I'm not sure about ICPC in particular, but there are many people in the firm who set things like code forces rounds or like things for local competitions. I myself have set many dozens of problems over the years for Canadian competitions. I mean, you, it's nice to see the other side of things, like on a personal level. And I don't know, I personally feel like the community gave me a lot when I was going through it and building up my skill set and talking to people and coaches was very useful for me. So it's great to be able to be in a position to give some of that back. And it feels rewarding as well. So I interned twice at Jane Street. So I did one trading internship. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was very, very fun. And I decided to go back for a second summer. And I think, you know, the, the first part of the trading internship is it's very educational. We do a lot of like mock trading and we do um, you know, like various activities that show us like what the real job is going to be like. And then it wasn't until my second summer that I got to, you know, actually be on a real desk and like try the job for itself. And like, if anything, that was even more exciting than the internship. It's, I was previously an intern at Jane Street. And yet again, it's like very fun to be on the other side of that and really think about what you are giving to an intern. As an intern, you receive a project that's like, pretty self-contained and you can solve in like the six or 12 weeks that you are there for. Spoiler, uh, real, real life work is not quite like that. Things have hairy tendrils that extend into other teams and other systems, but it's fun as a mentor to sort of put together this snowflake and fun project that you really wish you could work on yourself and like hand it off to the intern and see them be happy with it. We have offices around the world and interns, you know, if you're from Europe, then you will likely intern in the London office. If you're from America, you're likely going to uh, intern in the New York office. If you're from Asia, probably the Hong Kong or Singapore office. But the work is pretty similar and there's a lot of cross collaboration between the different offices. Yeah, no, it's surprisingly international. I think we, we actually had a discussion on desk where apparently we have three different IMO gold medals from like three different countries, each of them. So it's, it's quite international. I think it's very fun just like seeing where everyone's coming from and like bringing their own perspectives into, into our work. I came in just knowing that Jean Street was a finance company, but that was it. Jean Street invests a lot in teaching people things, among other things. We write everything in OCaml, but we don't expect people to come in with OCaml knowledge. So when people start, they'll have a two week period where they go through OCaml boot camp, which is basically school. Uh, there's teachers and homework that gets assigned to be done during work hours, but that extends past just OCaml boot camp. We have things like trader training and trader training for non-traders where you do learn these finance fundamentals, but absolutely we do not expect or even require uh, any sort of finance knowledge going in. Just, you know, a willingness to learn and enthusiasm. I think on the whole, like one question that I get from a lot of people is how competitions like ICPC can be directly relevant for the job itself because, you know, it's like, it's pretty unlikely that you're going to be solving like shortest path problems as a quant trader or something. But I do think, like for one, there have actually been pretty surprising applications of the data structures and algorithms that I've seen and that, that's always a really fun surprise where I'm like trying to solve a problem I don't expect anything related to ICPC to come up and then I'm like, oh wait, there's actually like a really cool, like clever solution that we can use. So I think that's always a fun surprise, but even when that doesn't happen, which is like admittedly most of the time, I think just having this ability to like start with the tool set of like all these 
past problems that you've seen or like algorithms or data structures and like figure out ways to apply them to whatever the new problem is, I think has, that's something that these competitions have very well prepared me for. Our input data are market events. They're not presented to us in like text or like standard input, but we have a very simple stream of, yep, yeah, these are the things that are happening in the market. And what we want to output is not to standard output or to a file, but it's like, you are sending some trades, or sorry, some orders that you hope to trade against some other orders in the market. And in between that, like, you get to think and maybe decide to send an order or not. In this sense, it's a lot like an interactive online problem where you can't pre-compute, you don't have foresight of the things you will see in the market, but you know everything you've seen up until that point. Yes, I'm always very excited when I see something at work that resembles like, ah, this is a contest problem. If it wasn't IP sensitive, I would set it as a contest problem and people would have lots of fun. But as it stands, you know, people have to work at Jane Street to see it.